We've seen people like this go to a mountain of fire, go to the redeemed Christian Church of God and say, yeah, thank God, oh, thank God, after 25 years. That is I'm simply making them feel even more depressed. God, he's too money. wealthy. He's too big. If I let him go, if I, where will I go? My sister was behind me when the, this guy came and was doing stuff. When he crossed me, I, I, I chuckled. Which guy? The, the late... The guy, was no, not him. The first the ending of the first trimester and then they will come and out for healthy abortion is this even possible you get pregnant just f for an occasion or for photo shoots then you remove it afterwards here we have bella shimada bella shimada said he's planning to go back to school lasso to clear his carryover sometimes you know some reports sound so untrue but it's true. You know, some Buhari supporters have argued that um, if Buhari wasn't fighting corruption, we wouldn't be hearing, hearing these figures and seeing these people online. We've heard them, you know, talk um, EO about Hush Puppy. At some point, you begin to wonder, who is the thief? Who is the, the hunter? Uh, I brought the motion on health grounds. He's a diabetic, he's a diabetic patient and he's also hypertensive. Kiari has now seemingly joined a long list of powerful Nigerians who when faced with the possibility of persecution, use their health condition to seek soft landing. What's up, my people? How on a day within they happen within they sup? Welcome back to our channel. Now, at this point, my people, you begin to wonder like okay are we going to ever stop talking about abakiari in fact you can easily guess these days that oh we'll definitely talk about abakiari you know today and that is because I, <laughs> it seems like there's been a lot going on in background without anyone's knowledge until recently after the top guy got arrested abakiari it seems like people I wouldn't say start digging into these things. It seems like they already know or have been hearing the rumors about all these things about Kiari and his boys and stuff like that, but they are just too scared to share their stories. Again, that doesn't mean that these allegations, you know, are true uh, or false. But at the same time, you just have this feeling that it is because Abakiari is still act was you know active back then. That's why a lot of people refuse to share their story. But now that is is been arrested his hands are tied of course expect more stories there's a lot to say about this man but currently the new report is that this man is down with um diabetes and hypertension but guess what uh, despite being down with these um illnesses uh, i brought the motion on health grounds he's a diabetic he's a diabetic patient and he's also hypertensive so we have medical reports to support our applications. Uh, it seems like Abba Kiari will be spending or will continue to stay in NDLEA custody himself and six others for 14 days. At this point again, guys, is it still okay uh, to say, and I mean, I'm not confirming it, uh, that the federal government are behind this. I mean, you all know the extradition process. And this is a man that is, that's alleged to have helped a lot of politicians, alleged <laughs> to have helped a lot of politicians back then to carry out uh, their shady deals. Um, again, guys, what is your thoughts uh, if we have to um, dissect this whole thing at this point would you still say that the federal government no matter what they do is behind this and they are trying so hard guys i saw um, a post on social media that says kiari has now seemingly <laughs> joined a long list of powerful nigerians who when faced with the possibility of persecution use their health condition to seek soft landing do you think that this guy is only doing this to seek soft landing or he is truly going through these things i'm talking about the hypertension and diabetes we don't know yet but let's see how things pans out now let us move ahead to the next one it says court orders final for feature of 899,600 
dollars linked to x bauchi ssg you know sometimes you hear about these numbers and you ask yourself then why are they screaming why are these politicians politicians against hush puppy saying trash about hush puppy because we've seen their comments we've heard them you know talk um eo about hush puppy at some point you begin to wonder who is the thief who is the the hunter uh because uh it seems like these days the hunter have become the hunted seriously it's confusing sometimes uh guys they said it was recovered from an abuja apartment allegedly occupied by former secretary to the Bauchi government. The name of this secretary is Ibrahim Ahmed Dandiji. So here's where it gets interesting. Investigation revealed that the apartment was secured by this man Dandiji to store his valuables. Hold on. Um, he said that he engages in chartering of aircraft through his company <laughs> whatever that name is and that the money was received on behalf of a company now let us think about this you have this much money it's legit right and you decide to put it in an up to put the money in an apartment in abuja well um someone once said that nigeria is netflix or a netflix show uh, that would never finish would you say that uh, the buari administration intentionally you know allow um, these things to happen you know some Buhari supporters have argued that um, if Buhari wasn't fighting corruption we wouldn't be hearing hearing these figures and seeing these people online but others uh, have said that uh, look that is uh, false uh, the fact that they see these people they collect this money doesn't mean that they don't relute the money I mean we've heard the news of those who would catch the thief and we loot the money so the same money is being stolen by those who claim they are law enforcers uh, here is an ex-minister and two others sent to prison for money laundering who do we blame uh, for this uh, uh <laughs> you know this just reminds me of um, a footage of um, politicians this happened um, a while back uh, politicians exchange blows and these are the people who are leading us Sometimes, you know, some reports sound so untrue, but it's true. News like this. Woman who lost her husband six months ago dies in house fire alongside her three children. It, it's, ah, oh God, this is very, very sad. Kids and her niece all burnt while asleep. The entire household is gone. What a tragedy. Why do we at sleep? Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, no, it's not about politics. Uh, here you can see the report says a Ghanaian lady claims some women get pregnant um, and abort it after four months just so they can look good on their birthday photo shoot or for important occasions. Why would you intentionally allow that to happen? I don't know. Is this even possible? You get pregnant just for an occasion or for photo shoots then you remove it afterwards i still don't i still find it hard to believe guys let's listen to this the first the ending of the first trimester and then they will come and out for healthy abortion and some of them too they just go for any pills at all which worsens the case this thing has put a advantage and disadvantages but the only advantage is the only advantage in this is that it makes your body look really, really, really sumptuous. Like you look yummy, your skin pops, your breast feels heavy and saucy. Your some of them they even get uh, the hips to come out a big. Some of them their calf gets bigger, their legs, 
how will I put it in English? Their legs become a bit bigger. They are, they grow thick ties. Just generally, their body grows because of the uh, overproduction of the uh, estrogen and the progesterone in their system. Those two hormones help in this uh, the physical the growth of these physical features. And so when you get pregnant. This uh, produce and it, it helps your boobs to come out. It helps your shape. You become uh, in shape. And then there are some people that um, when they get to the third man, they will, they will go for safe abortion. So after the safe abortion, you you will be given a uh, maybe appetite stimulant or mm -hmm. an appetite booster. Maybe some blood tonics that will boost your appetite to make you to eat more to maintain that shape for some months. Uh -huh. Honestly, I don't know what the word is turning into. I'm speaking about uh, not knowing what the word uh, has turned or is turning into. Here we have uh, Jim Ike. Jim Ike um, explained what happened um, in 2013. He took his mother to TB Joshua's church. And instead of uh, the mother, he was the one healed that day. Um, I mean, that's what uh, the church told us. It's quite a scene. What am I trying to say? The scene uh, was uh, quite dramatic. And um, Jimike said he didn't know what happened at that time. You know, he kind of revealed a lot during his, uh, 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 his interview with Trudy recently. I uh, guess we're going to watch the footage of uh, you know this dramatic scene and also what he's got to say about that. You're too small. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, he's too big. He's too big. He loves God too much. He's too wealthy. He's too big. If I let him go, if I where will I go? What do you want to do to him? Destroy him. Huh? I have to destroy him. He's, not, he's God has kept my life. I've done everything. I've done everything to destroy him. He keeps blessing him. He's too stubborn. What are the things you tell his friend in him? He huh? will never get married. He will never, he will never get married. He will never get married. He can't love anybody. What have you done to his career? I've tried to destroy his career. Keep rising. I can't breathe. Oh. Sa I can't breathe. No. Listen, listen. I can't let him go. That stuff was everywhere. Like, what's wrong with Jamaica? It was even in newspapers. Like, Jamaica is going through this, is going through that. Well, it's crazy. See, I don't have to come down to the service. You people promised me, like, does God need me to, you know? Yes, I'm skeptical. Yes, I've, I've shown you people a great degree of cynicism. But do it and they make me a believer. Yeah. I will live in this church for two years. If you, if, if you heal my mom. So after a while, again, the meeting, like, you need to come down. Da, da, da. I remember I was in there. My sister was behind me when they, this guy came. I was doing stuff. When he crossed me, I, I, I chuckled. Which guy? The, the late? The thing? guy, well, no, not him. Okay, some guy other guy. Was, he didn't yeah. conduct the person. Right. That, so one of the parties. Yes. That ch I chuckled. My sister said, stop laughing. This thing is serious. I don't want them to see you laughing. Then he came back to me. My brother, I don't know what happened after that. This world is deep. There's a certain spirituality I've come to understand about this world that is way beyond us. Mm. Um, what happened, I don't know. I saw the video, I said that's not me, but that's me. Mm. My brother, you must understand that I am not an island of knowledge. Mm. Uh, this lady says, some Nigerian uh, men are married to lesbians who are cheating on them on, under their roof. Wives would they bring um, friends, you know, and of course there's a female and their husband will believe that nothing is happening. But what this lady is trying to say is that something is actually happening. So you should start paying attention even to female friends. That's a lot of work to do. <laughs> a lot of work to do to suspect male friends and female friends, female friends now included. Uh, but guys, uh, let us watch this uh, video. And don't forget again, you know, we know that females also uh, marry gays and they wouldn't even know that this guy is a uh, gay. Let's watch. Okay, so I'm about to shake a table nobody wants to ever talk about. This conversation in Lagos, especially. But my question is this, how many married men in Nigeria are married to lesbians without them knowing? And these lesbians are cheating under their roof, honey. Okay, let's get into it. So, these partners could be their best friends. 
their supposed oh my god we've been girlfriends for 10 years five years six years and of course the husband is like well i'm cool with it because it's a girl not knowing honey that's her lover honey court has ruled that unmarried female um police officers should not get pregnant while in service so what they are trying to say is no excuse for baby mamas you have nothing to explain as long as you're not married there's nothing like uh being a baby mama yeah it's just uh funny to um hear something like this guys um the next one remember yesterday we talked about white money and um odogu but uh, boy you know uh i said i wasn't sure um if white money was actually bounced from that party uh yesterday the news said white money was bounced from seeing Bona boy and Bona boy was just around there a few kilometers away just chilling Bona boy can't say he didn't see white money but <laughs> a lot of although a lot of people said Bonaboy boy was rude i think what people need to understand is there are certain things you need to go through before you reach a particular stage disappointment you know disgrace you just it's a must so if you understand it it wouldn't hurt you that you need to people like Bonaboy boy too have gone through that before they got to that place you it's something you, you have to go through so i don't know like i said yesterday i'm not sure if he was actually bounced but to uh be sure that this news is true we went to check if white money is still following Bona boy but turns out that he's uh unfollowed him uh so maybe he was actually bounced and Bona boy care less about that i, I doubt if Bona boy will still you know feel concerned about that Here we have Bella Shimoda. Bella Shimoda said he's planning to go back to school. Lasso to Claire is carryovers. Yes, he's got uh, some carryovers and extra uh, year. During his recent interview, he said, Definitely, my mom is always on my neck and she works in Lasso. Definitely, to be a responsible child, I must get my degree. That is the goal. Ah, uh, Bella Shimoda yeah if you believe that that is the goal then go for it according to him i must finish my carryovers uh, though i'm done with school i have extra years so i have to finish up whatever makes you happy moving on to the next one here we have the actress georgina onoha calls out her sister's estranged husband recently uh, the man left the married woman overseas and it came that's in canada came back uh, to nigeria to marry a new wife they, they call the person the side piece or a side chick that's how they describe the person you can see here 49 year old uju Mwankolo and her five children are currently reportedly going through therapy from the trauma of abandonment um, after their father and breadwinner mr achiedu Mwankolo abandoned them in canada uh, chose to start another life in Nigeria with his side chick. That is uh, the news, my people. And the Georgina uh, called this man out saying there is no lie told in this post by Stella. Um, Mina Uju um, of here and um, this and a few words for you both. Uh, whatever goes around comes around. Uh, if indeed you believe uh, Chiedu uh, that he had divorced his wife, may God forgive you because seeing this in the public space is gut wrenching. We've watched you torment a home for years, deny innocent children the joy of their father, and cause him to abandon. Cause him. <sighs> Look, if a man doesn't want to leave, he won't leave, right? Even though he cheated. If he wants to keep his family, if he wants peace, he will work towards. I mean, cheating is not um, advisable in a marriage, but a man knows what they, that's what they want. If they finally move in with a side chick, that is what he wants. Why do we always uh, blame, except the side chick is using Kaya Mata. 
you know but men always know what they want so females should reduce yeah you can blame other females but reduce that and and blame men more for that um guys what do you think about this i would like to hear from you here this person says i shall keep saying it let all those reality tv shows eg bbn take a pause this year they should help the youth to focus against 23 elections so b brother ninja should pause like calm down <laughs> guys <laughs> moving on to the next one i think james brown um, is in currently in uk now i think he's there studying i wish him all the best you know it's uh, nice to see things like this he said what a beautiful gift i give myself this year by sponsoring myself to study in a university in uk i never stopped dreaming of the impossible because earlier this year i made the decision to support myself through university and i was faced with one of the biggest obstacles in my life uh yeah i i know it's gonna be quite difficult you know for him to make more money while there uh because it's, it will be schooling at the same time and he's got to be in the uk more that's quite stressful but i think it's worth it moving on to the next one a nigerian couple welcomes triplet after 25 years of waiting i think at this point right nigerians should normalize ivf babies testimonies right you get out there it's okay to say you know we got this child through ivf it's fine ivf too is god's blessings you know it's nothing to be uh, shameful about uh, because uh, we've seen people like this go to a mountain of fire go to the redeemed christian church of god and say ah, thank god oh, thank god after 25 years i am 50 something years old now and i gave birth to triplets there's nothing god cannot do is there anything impossible with god you see my people um that isn't encouraging anybody okay that is i'm um, simply making them feel even more depressed how uh, why not uh, tell them how you did it yes god too is involved why not tell them how you did it so they, they can save money and just know the right place to go and do it that is where i'm going to hold it my people um thank you so much for watching and today's question how much will you earn monthly in nigeria that will make you not to jack by again that will make you not to leave nigeria again. will make you change your decision leave your answers in the comment section below thank you once again see you next time peace